Hey guys, today we're going to work a Christmas miracle here. Do you like gingerbread? What about gingerbread crafts? Today we're going to make a gingerbread house. Did someone say gingerbread? I'm here, thanks. I'll get back to looking for my Christmas vibe. The dough shouldn't be too thick or too thin, so I'll use these sticks to control the thickness. I hope it'll help Sam get his Christmas mood back. Guys, what comes to your mind when you think of Christmas? Write in the comments! Maybe it's your advice that will help Sammy feel better. We'll carefully cut the stencil here. Be careful with sharp objects. Our first part is ready! We can remove the extra dough now. Don't get me! Don't get me! I'm here! Mm, Sammy, are you feeling well? We aren't expecting any visitors. Nah, I'm calling for my Christmas vibes. I even dressed up like a Christmas tree, but my vibes still ain't coming! Sammy, maybe you need to switch your activity. And you can help me with cooking here. What do you say? Whee! Come on over! Come! 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 Hey, easy now! Don't hit my fingers! Phew! I feel better now. You are right, Sue. Oh, I'm glad you're feeling better. Try to just go with the flow and let the miracle happen. While our dough is baking, would you like to have some hot cocoa? I love it. Keeps you warm in the winter. Ah, cocoa. So you do know how to cheer me up. Guys, do you like cocoa? Make some for yourselves and stay tuned. Mmm, smells divine. Holy cannoli, I think I can hear Christmas bells ringing. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. <laughs> I think someone's level of holiday mood's gone up. Yes, let's keep going too. Making a gingerbread house does help. I'm all for it. Let's decorate our house with frosting. We'll draw the outlines of the house with thick frosting. It sets quickly. And we'll cover the house's surface with thin frosting. The outline that's already set won't let our frosting spill. It reminds me of a coloring book. I always start with the outlines in them too, and then color the middle. What about you guys? After you color your house with frosting, leave the frosting out a bit to set. Then you can draw bricks. Look how easy it is. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap. Tap, 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 tap, Guys, write your favorite Christmas song in the comments. A couple more touches of thick frosting. Let's draw the outline here slowly. Step one. And step two. And done! Sammy, could you paint the inside? Of course I will! It's my favorite part! Our house should have a solid roof. We'll use these jelly stripes to make roof tiles. We'll cut them into small rectangles. And then we'll carefully put them on the part covered with white frosting. Oh well, I think a sly little sweet tooth guy is around here somewhere. <laughs> I didn't eat that jelly. Look into my honest eyes. <sighs> I need to cut more jelly stripes. I'll be right back, guys, and we'll keep going. Phew, we're done with the roof. I like the way it looks. Let's start making edible decorations. A gilded doorknob. We haven't done the most important thing yet! Are you talking about the tree? We can't do without a Christmas tree. I mean, can anyone? A Christmas wreath at the entrance is a must do on our Christmas checklist. Right! I almost forgot about it. Sammy, you feel the Christmas spirit better than me already. Oh, looks like the real thing! Now we can start assembling the house. We're gonna put all the gingerbread parts together now. First, go the walls. A bit of frosting to hold them together. Oh, oh I hope I won't break them. Ah, great, it's pretty solid. As for the roof, it looks like it got blown away. 
Let's add a lot of frosting on the upper edge to make sure it holds. Whoosh! A flying roof is about to land! Oh, 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 the landing went well! It looks like Santa visited our place. Isn't it too early for that? Christmas comes early for slimes. Mm. Presents come early, too. <laughs> <laughs> Judging by your tone, Sammy, you've got something on your mind. You want to share? Nah, it's a surprise. <laughs> You're so secretive. In the meantime, our house got covered in snow. We'll throw some wood in here to keep its owners warm. And a whole lot of sweet frosting snow on top. <laughs> hey, how do slime claws get into the house? We need a chimney! Oops, just a sec. We'll fix it. Oh, oh, oh. Could you gotten to the Christmas spirit, Susan? Everything should be picture perfect. Guys, did you get great presents this year? If so, hit the like button under this video. What kind of Christmas is that without Christmas trees, huh? Or without a snowman. Shall we add a little more snow? Why a little? I can add a whole lot more. Merry Christmas! Hmm, now that's a miracle. <laughs> hmm? Who could that be? Wonder who it's from. Dear Sue and Sam, let's celebrate Christmas together. I'll make the best cocoa ever. XOXO R. <laughs> Mysterious R. Who could that be, guys? Do you know? Ahem, <clears throat> Sue, I've got a surprise for you. Really? Is it the promised present from Slime Claws? <laughs> Thank you for helping me get my Christmas vibe back. I'd like to give you... this. Oh, my Sammy. It's so sweet of you. <gasps> you made it all yourself? Wow. Christmas is no Christmas without you. You don't have to thank me, you know. I'm just glad we got each other. Oh, go on now. <laughs> me too. <laughs> By the way, while I was dragging the house, I heard something about a card. Come on, show it to me! I'll just tell you what's in it. Guys, see you in the next video! as worried as me. What have you done with this house? Sue just finished it yesterday! Get back to your cage! Go home! Home! Hi, dear. Where did the hamsters go? Phew! It was just a dream. from the cage to eat the gingerbread house. Who escaped? I almost died myself. Do you don't believe me? Sure I do, Sam. But the hamsters are fine. How do you know? <laughs> I saw them in the other room. They nibbled the house and ran away. Ah, oh, is it yummy? Of course. This house is made of gingerbread dough. And there's no witch. 
No, Sam, it's not a fairy tale. Although the gingerbread house did come from a fairy tale. My precious. <laughs> Sue, can I live here? Aren't you afraid of the witch? But you said. Just kidding, Sam. Let me tell you about the fairy tale with the gingerbread house. We'll make something amazing for the hamsters so they don't run away anymore. Yay! Guys, subscribe to the channel and share with your friends. Today we'll show you something really cool. Hey guys! Today we'll be making a gingerbread house from cardboard for our hamsters. And of course, we'll start with the floor and the walls. This wall will be solid. And I made holes here for our hamsters so they can easily go in and out. Oh, wait, wait! Make different shapes! Around here, a square here, and a star here. And then we'll paint it really pretty. Oh, Sammy, you got a little carried away. We're making it for the hamsters. The holes must be big enough and also smooth enough so they don't hurt themselves. So, let's make an attic! <sighs> sure thing. Right away. Could you bring me the book, The Gingerbread House, from the shelf? What? To read? Not to paint? We'll be getting inspired, Sam. Oh, well, okay. <sighs> okay. And our base is ready. What did Sam say about the attic? I already have the part. Let's glue the attic here. And now the roof. It's made of these two parts. It's important to make sure they're the right size. <laughs> What's so inspiring about books anyway? Open it up. Nah. <laughs> oh, oh, that's her! She took the hamsters! Sam! <laughs> the hamsters are okay, remember? Oh, yeah, right. Wow, so pretty. And probably very tasty. Sue, how do I get there? It's a fairy tale, Sam. The storytellers were the Brothers Grimm. They liked visiting their friends, sitting by the fire. Oh, we'd be friends. By the way, Sue, let's make a fireplace for our hamsters! Oh, let's! It'll be so cozy in here. So, our fireplace is made of two parts. This hole has to be big enough for a hamster. I need to fold this part this way and hold it like this. And we'll use these edges to glue the fireplace to the inside of the house. And I'll cover it with one more little part, like this. Great! Now the chimney. The hamsters will be able to use it to climb up and down, so it should be pretty wide. Sue, so, so uh, what's up with that fairy tale? Well, the Brothers Grimm wrote the story about the gingerbread house in 1812. Wow, long ago. Were there still dinosaurs back then? And slimes? <laughs> Sam, it's like you forgot everything about dinosaurs and slimes at once. <laughs> no, no, I was just testing you. Well, the brothers wrote a whole book of fairy tales. And after it got published, the gingerbread house became very popular. I love this story. But that fairy tale is kind of scary. It actually was very close to your dream. There was a witch that lured two little kids, a brother and sister, into her beautiful gingerbread house. And she wanted to eat them. Oh, oh, please, please stop. Oh, but it ends well. The witch was defeated. What are these stripes in the chimney? It's a ladder for our hamsters so they can easily climb inside the chimney. Let's put the chimney parts together and glue it in place. Just like this. Carefully, make sure the windows fit. The house is coming out pretty great. You know what's missing? The house decor. Who's the best painter? Sam's the best painter! Oh yeah! Awesome, Sammy! And I prepared these details for the decorations. First, let's attach the legs. It'll be better if I flip the house like this. Oh, careful, please! No worries, Sammy, I won't break it. Here. I made these legs out of paper towel rolls. This cardboard is pretty sturdy. Now let's glue the rest of the ornaments. Sweet little candies and icing. It's good that it's cardboard. Uh, why, Sammy? The hamsters won't eat it, and all the cookies will be mine! 
And you won't even share with our hamster friends? Well, okay, okay. They're friends after all. And I'll give some to you. You have a giant sweet tooth. Hey, Sue! The decorations are on point! But don't you think something's still missing? Oh, doors! Of course! And ladders, Susie! How would the hamsters get in the house? And get down from the attic? Don't you worry, though. I have it under control. Oh, I'm so lucky to have a slime friend who has everything under control. Right, guys? <laughs> He's right, though. Lots of house without any doors, huh? Okay. Look, guys. I attached some thread to the door, and now I can glue it to the house. Done! Uh, I'm done, too! Wow, Sammy! These are good ladders! Guys, quick! Give a thumbs up if you like Sam's ladder! My dear friends, what do you think about our beautiful house? Leave a comment below! And subscribe to the channel! We'd love to be friends with you! Oh, I wanna eat it so bad! It's just like the real thing! Yes, Sammy! We did a great job! I'll also add this cozy sofa to make the hamsters even more comfy! All done! Now let's see if the hamsters come back. Let's wait for it. Will they come or not? Oh, they won't come. Sam, is the house not good enough? Or maybe they got lost or taken? I know what to do, Sue. I saw it in that book. That's how Hansel and Gretel found their way home. Brilliant idea, Sammy. Please let it work, please. Come on, girls! You have a whole new house to explore! Hey, Sue! I think they like the windows! Aww! <laughs> you can't fit in there, little guy! Up, up, up! Be careful up there! Oh, look! They're climbing! Oh, yay! <gasps> Be careful! Wow, what skill! Da -da -da. And down! Wow! Hey, the door's working! Aww, they really like it here! Open your presents! Uh-oh, what are you doing up there? Oh! <laughs> Whoa! Uh-oh, be careful! I think they really like those chairs! Don't slide down again! Oh, would you look at them? They're so cute! I think they're happy. I think they like their new home. Guys, give a thumbs up if you like this video and share it with your friends! Bye bye